Hi guys, it's Miss Sarah here. I just wanted to check in and see how you all were doing. Um, and then I also thought that, you know, since it was art month and we've been talking all about art and artists and how they create and stuff, um, and I never really got the chance to bring in any of my instruments and share with you, I'd share one of my practice routines. And as you can see right here, I have got my harp. Uh, this is one of, uh, uh, very special to me. This is my harp. Um, and my dad actually made it for me many years ago. Um, so, what the harp is made out of, it's made out of uh, wood. It's a really, really hard wood that you have to make the harps out of so that they can stay in shape and hold their tune. Um, so this is the harp, and we got it up here, and then we can take it down. It doesn't quite fit in the camera very well, but that's okay. All right. So the different parts of the harp here, we've got the, the sound bridge. Uh, this is where all of the strings are attached to, which brings us to here. So those are the strings, and then right here we have one of the most important pieces of the harp. This is the sound box. Um, and as you can kind of see, I don't know if you'll be able to tell really well, there's a little of a bubble here in the sound box, and that's because this part is the part that helps make the sound that comes off of the strings louder. So when we talk about the saxophone, you know, the saxophone has the reed in it that um, vibrates to make the sound. When we, do this, when we do the harp, the strings are the things that are going to vibrate. So when I pick one, it's going to move really, really fast. Um, it's going to vibrate, and then it comes down, the vibration travels down here into the sound box, and then it makes the sound. And as you can kind of see here in the back, um, it's got openings. So that's where a lot of the sound comes from. Okay, so that's a little bit about how the harp makes its sound. Um, a little bit. So right here you can tell, or you can see we have some strings that are all different sizes um, and that's because when I play the saxophone you know I can make the saxophone make different sounds by pushing the different buttons I just said I pluck the strings and make the strings vibrate and that's how I make it here um, to play the different notes I'm gonna need to pull the different strings instead of pushing any buttons I pluck different strings so each string has a different note and it makes a completely different sound the strings down here the ones that are really long are gonna make nice long low sound. Then the ones that are up here are going to make a really short sound or a very high sound. So it's going to sound a little bit like that and like that. Here, and this one is a little hard to hear. It's so high. Um, so each going to play a different note. So when I'm going to play a piece of music like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, I'm going to pluck a different note or a different string for all of the different notes. And that's kind of going to sound a little bit like this. Was twinkle twinkle little star so you could see each of the notes that I played was a different string sometimes I was playing the same note twice so. like that <clears throat> so we talked a little bit about how the harp makes its sound and how it works right now I want to share with you a little bit about how the harp is used so when we play the harp. We have two different types of music that we typically play with the harp. The first one that you find the harp in a lot in is classical music. So I have a short little piece to share with you about that. This one is called Minuet and it's by Johann Sebastian Bach. So that was Minuet. It's a little hard to see some of the music because it's sitting over here. 
Uh, but for the last piece that I want to play for you, this is one of my favorite pieces. This is called The Grenadier and the Lady, and it is a folk uh, folk music uh, piece from England and that's another place where you find a lot of the harp music is in folk music Celtic music from Ireland Scotland and England so here we go So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a little bit of my harp. Um, I can't wait to be able to see you guys, and I hope you're doing well. Bye.